today I'm finally back with a video and today's video is my Colourpop haul and swatch video. So a few days ago I posted on my Snapchat and Instagram about how I got a few Colourpop goodies and so many of you guys said you want a swatch video and a haul video and how I got the goodies and how to get them shipped in India and all of that. So this video is going to be all about Colourpop and how to get them shipped and the swatches and everything about Colourpop basically. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys are seeing my face for the very first time, hi I'm Arushi and I make fashion and beauty related videos and everything that I love. I also make vlogs and I've started the Diva Log. I'm going to try to stick to it and post as many Diva Logs as I can. So they start from today and this is the Colourpop haul and I hope you guys enjoy. If you like any of my videos, you can go ahead and subscribe and without any further blabbering, let's now get started. Alright, so I got six things from Colourpop and Colourpop is an amazing site to order your makeup from. So it has lipsticks, eyeshadows and even concealers and all of them are in the price range of 5 to 6 dollars which is very affordable because even the good quality makeup in India is of like that price range. So it's pretty affordable and all of you should totally check it out. Now coming to what I got in my nails, so they usually send like a huge colourful box which is very cute and I was expecting that in the mail. But they sent me this mailer so I'm okay with that as well. But along with that they sent me the invoice, uh, then they sent me a booklet of all the products that they have and they sent me this card which says hey love we've offered you a lot XOXO Colourpop so yeah that's okay. Uh, other than that I ordered 6 things from Colourpop. So let's talk about 6 things that I got. So I got um, 3 ultra matte lipsticks and I got 2 ultra satin and I got a lip primer. So these are the 6 things that I got. Uh, most of them are nude colours because I am a huge fan of nude lipsticks. So uh, before we get started with the shipping processes and how to get shipped, how to order the shade range and everything, let's see the swatches. Wherever love goes there is also misery, it's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history yeah. Go look in the mirror, say Hey, I'm sorry for all the pain I'm sorry for all the pain Go look in the mirror, say Hey, I'm sorry for all the pain I'm sorry Of the lipstick looks like this. 
Now when you look at it, you think that it might break but actually I have seen my lipsticks fall a lot while I was filming the video and did not break or even like get a crack so the lipstick is quite sturdy. Now coming to the formulation of the Ultra Mattes and the Ultra Satin Lipsticks. So uh, the Ultra Mattes are true matte lipsticks which means that they are not transferable and they are kiss proof but they are very drying alright. So they will not budge at all and they will not move from your lips until you actually use a makeup remover. Uh, but they are very dry. So you will have to use a lip primer or lip balm underneath your lipstick. So I got the lippy stick lip primer from Colourpop like the site only. But I am very disappointed with this because this kind of makes my ultra matte base very sticky and my lip stick together so that's really good. And like I would not recommend you guys to go buy this. Instead go ahead and buy like a lip primer that you guys trust or just use like a really hydrating lip balm underneath that will also work. So because these ones are really hard to remove I use the bio oil. So this one really helps removing the lipstick. Uh, other than this you can also use a coconut oil or a really nice makeup remover. And this is how my makeup wipe looks after removing a lipstick. So yeah, you know how transfer proof this is. Like this will not transfer. Now coming to the Ultra Satin Lipstick. So I got Tansy and Panda in the Ultra Satin Lipstick. And the formulation is quite nice. But the only drawback is that the formulation is very sticky. So when you apply it to your lips, your hair will stick to your lips. But the formulation of the Ultra Satin is quite nice. But the only drawback is that it's quite sticky and it's non-transfer proof. So it might mess your lipstick up and you will require constant touch up. Now coming to the tips and tricks on how to get your color pop here in India. Now when I first opened the website, there was the first thing that I saw, which is if you log in or sign in, you get a $5 off on the shipping. So I first made made an account and subscribed to the newsletter which got me a $5 off the shipping so make sure you guys make an account subscribe to the newsletter so you get at least a $5 off on the shipping and when I actually placed my order there was this offer going on that if you take like two lipsticks or three lipsticks you get one take five edition off so you could choose a blush an eyeshadow uh, an ultra satin or an ultra matte so I chose an ultra matte and that is what I got so I got this free and I also got Bumble free so I just had to pay for 3 lipsticks and the lip primer and I got the, both of these free so I got take 5 free plus I got $5 off on my shipping so make sure you have an eye on all of the newsletters now coming to how I got my order shipped so I basically uh, got a family friend to get it from the US so I got shipped to New Jersey and then he got it here so that is how I got my order shipped but I have you guys covered. So if your order is under $50, you will have to pay $25 extra for shipping. So in $25, you can actually buy 4 lipsticks. So you know, it's kind of really pricey the shipping. So I've got you covered with that as well. So there are two, these two things called um, ship out from USA and shop and ship. So basically using these two sites you just have to register and pay a normal amount and after that you can create your virtual address and then ship the things to India. Now talking about customs, usually you don't have to pay customs when you have a small package but like it's always like a dicey thing. Sometimes you have to pay customs, sometimes you don't. Now a lot of my friends who got their Colourpop orders, a lot of other people I know like my friends who are bloggers and all of those people who got their Colourpop order ship, they did not really have to pay customs. But then again a friend I know had to pay customs. So again it's a very dicey matter. Sometimes when you have a huge order you do have to pay customs because like you are having a huge order being shipped in India. So they do get you customs paid and then the customs are quite high because it's usually like the double of your package or something like that. They always have like a percentage on like the package that they see. So the international shipping is actually just $5 but if you have to get it shipped in India and your order is under $50 you will have to pay $25 which is quite a lot. Now the last trick would be always make sure to read the description and the reviews to make sure that you do not choose the wrong lip shade like the lip color which would be too light or too dark for you. So yeah, make sure to read the reviews and the description and that is it. That's it, that is all you need to know about Colourpop. I think I covered a lot. I covered the lip colors, the lip swatches, the shipping, the packaging, how to remove it, everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video was helpful if it was and if you guys liked the video make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up because it really makes me happy and helps you a lot and if you guys like my channel you can also go ahead and subscribe it's absolutely free 
If you already subscribed, you can also go and hit the notification bell button. That will just notify you every time I post. Because I'm also doing the Diva Logs this year, which means I'll be posting videos from the shelf to Diwali. That's pretty great. And I hope to see you guys next time.